What's up, guys? So, decided to do something a little different today. I'm going to do some uh, NFL predictions for tomorrow, Sunday's games. And, of course, have some gameplay in the background so you guys aren't bored to death. My opponent here had a very nice team, by the way. So, with that being said, let's get right into it. So, first game for tomorrow, of course, I'm going to start with my Miami Dolphins versus the Ravens. Now, last year we played, and, of course, you know, we did take care of business. You know, we blitzed the hell out of Jackson. He wasn't ready for it, and we won comfortably. I don't see that happening again. Um, I definitely see us blitzing them again, but I don't know if it's going to be that effective. I'm pretty sure they've already game planned the hell out of that thing. So um, I'm always going to go with my Dolphins no matter what. Of course, I'm going to pick my Dolphins to win, but I don't think it's going to be a blowout like it was last uh, last year. I'm going to predict. Uh, see, I see that score being somewhere like 23-20, something like that. I feel like um, like it's going to come down to the wire. That's for uh, for sure. Next up is the uh, Cleveland and New York Jets. So, uh, definitely going to stay with Cleveland, definitely for sure. Um, you know, the Jets will be the Jets. I won't be surprised. So, that game, I feel like it's going to be one of those games where, like, if the Jets do win, I wouldn't be surprised. Because I'm not going to expect that to be a blowout either. I'm going to say that one's going to come down to maybe a touchdown or so. I really feel like the Jets played, you know, not that bad uh, last week with the uh, Ravens. They actually kept it pretty close even during halftime. So, I will say Browns overall, but I don't think it's going to be a blowout, that's for sure. Next up is Washington and Detroit. That one could, uh, if Carson Wentz plays great, I definitely say that's when the uh, Washington Commanders will win. Otherwise, I'm going to give it to the Lions, because Lions are like sneaky good, if that makes any sense. I feel like they could definitely, I feel like, I feel like the Lions are a team where it's like if they catch their stride, they can definitely win that game, that's for sure. Next up, uh, Jacksonville and the Colts. Oh, man. Um, Trevor Lawrence, you, you got to feel for him. I feel like he's just in a, a bad situation in general. So much potential. But on that one, I'm going to go with the Colts. You know, I'm, I'm going to go with Matt Ryan. I feel like he, he, he could definitely close down that game. And, of course, the game everyone's talking about, the Saints versus the Bucks. Uh, I'm going to go Brady. I mean, it's, it's kind of hard not to. Jameis Winston versus Brady. I mean, not many people are going to pick the Saints in that situation. Not that they're a bad team or anything. Uh, I just feel like Brady is going to get them in that game. Giants versus Carolina. Now, I know the Giants won last week in the Carolina uh, loss, but I feel like Baker Mayfield is going to come back in this game. Because he actually kept that game pretty close, too, as well. I feel like, okay, yes, I know uh, last week it came down to a kick for the Panthers, and, and that's what they lost. But honestly, I feel the only way the Giants win, I feel like, is if Saquon Barkley can carry them again I don't see him doing that again against Carolina's defense in my opinion so anyways I'm, I'm going to go with Carolina for that one New England and Pittsburgh now biasly yeah of course I'm going to root for uh, Pittsburgh but all in all you, even if I wasn't being biased the way the uh, Patriots played last week with us I feel like the, the Pittsburgh is going to have the number not to mention Brian Flores is on the Steelers and he's had plenty of time going up against um Belichick in general so once again I'm gonna go with Pittsburgh on that one LA versus Atlanta now Mariota showed a lot of potential I mean he he really impressed me last week but the Rams I mean they I really expected them to win that game I know that was a tough call you know versus the Bills that's a tough game to win in general but honestly in this game I think I'm gonna go with Mariota I feel like the Rams are not gonna be able to bounce back Yes, they'll bounce back in general. You know, their season their season isn't over or anything, but I feel like the Falcons are gonna want that a little bit more. So I'm gonna go with Atlanta on that one. Uh, Seattle and San Francisco. Look, Seattle, that was a good win of them, uh, a, a good win for them, of course. But honestly, I mean, I can't, I still can't believe that they took Russell out on fourth and five. But anyways, in that one right there, I'm gonna go with uh, San Francisco. I feel like Trey Lance is gonna get his first win on this one for um for this season so yeah i'm gonna go with san francisco cincinnati and dallas if dallas still had dak i would say dallas potentially but i feel this is going to be where the Bengals get their first win dallas without dak right now is not going to be this uh a good situation for them in my opinion houston and denver oh man okay so this is where yeah i definitely feel russell wilson i feel like, like that coach is going to learn from his mistakes and this is where he's going to bounce back i feel this will be their first win um, Arizona versus uh, Los Angeles. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm ah, that's a good one. That one's like a 50 50 one, but I think I'm gonna end up going with um, Arizona, Chicago, Green Bay. Green Bay's had the number for so many for so many uh, years. I mean, uh, yeah, years. So I'm gonna go Green Bay. 
Tennessee and Buffalo, I'm just gonna have to go with Buffalo. I mean, the way they looked, honestly, it hurts me to say it, but yeah, Buffalo all the way for that one. Minnesota and Philly, uh, Jalen Hurts. I think I think Jalen Hurts might take run away with that one. You know, we'll see. But at the same time, I mean, Justin uh, Justin Jefferson. I mean, it's just I wouldn't be surprised as well if he had like a monster game against Philly. But um, yeah, I, I want to say I don't know. Of all the games so far, I think for some reason I feel like that one's gonna be like the most 50-50. I could be wrong, but I feel like that one could be the most 50-50 game of all. But if I had to pick one, for some reason, I, I just want to say Philly. I, I don't know why. But anyways, so those are my predictions, guys, um, for tomorrow's games. Like I said, I feel like I'm going to start doing this every Saturday. You know, it's a fun way, you know, just do something different on the channel. And of course, guys, by all means, let me know in the comments right now. Who is your team? Who do you think is going to win? Who are you pulling for? Like I said, for tomorrow, my Dolphins, I'm praying that we win again. Um, I don't see it. Like I said, I don't see it uh, going down the same way it did last, uh, last year, but... Hopefully, we can come out with the win. But anyways, guys, like I said, let me know what you guys think. I know the Legends came out today. I was excited for Cameron Wake until I found out he was a limited uh, limited edition type. And I was like, great, his price will be through the roof. But anyway, uh, um, anyways, guys, like I said, let me know who do you guys think will win tomorrow and what the scores will be. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.